we've got to our apartment. So we've got a little downstairs, but I'm gonna give you like an upstairs tour first. So it's obviously like the kitchen area, big dining table. I think, what's this? Oh, these are the bedrooms. Okay, so we've got bedroom number one. It's all right, little getting ready area, big mirrors. Here's the next one. Oh, this one's nice too. They mostly look the same really, it's got different windows. That's got a nice little view there with a pool. Then you've got your big wardrobes there as well. And then, I don't think we've turned any of the lights on. We've got a little like utility. Got a nice bathroom too. Little toilet section. Back out into the dining room is obviously like your seating area. Big balcony, we've got a beautiful kitchen. It's like your little desk part, we big fridge. Oh, is that got an ice maker? They've only got an ice maker in the fridge race. Loving life that we got. And then here's the view. Gorgeous. It looks a little bit cloudy, but it's like 30 odd degrees. We've got our little barbecue under there, little seating area. Beautiful view. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then there's our pool down there. I think it's a shed pool. There we've got a little pool. Then we've got a little balcony. Some little sun lounges. Look down the stairs. We've got another little seating room downstairs. This looks really cosy to be fair. With your TV. Another little mini balcony. Then we've got a little kitchen space. Another bedroom, a big like walk-in wardrobe, and then another bedroom. Oh, Reese, I think we should taxi this one. Oh yeah, look at this one. Wow. Oh my god, look at that view while you're in the bath. And then you've got a nice big shower. And then the toilet. Okay, so this is one Reese's bedroom. Look how beautiful that is. That's your view, literally from your bed. So I'm staying if anyone's interested. Apartment six, which is this one right here. And so we've got the pool. I think it's called an infinity pool. I'm not sure. Look at the ocean. It looks so nice, honestly. Are you ready? Reese is gonna drive us on the <laughs> on the little buggy. Oh, but anyway, he's never drove one before. Oh, you know, a long time ago. I know. Why do you say quick though, ones? You get one included with your whole setup. That person's got a little baby one on. Oh, it's gonna try and kill me. You see that, yeah? Yeah, got, got a way you see it back, guys. Oh my god. I feel like Sharpay Evans. Really? Oh my god. These cockatoos apparently cause absolute havoc on this island. And if you leave your doors open, like these big balcony doors, they come in, they eat all your food, they're like trash in the house. I've literally seen videos all on TikTok of them. Oh, he's gone. Fuming, scared him off. <laughs> so we've not done a fat lot this afternoon. We literally just went and picked my and my uncle up in our little golf buggy, which is so fun. Like my dad, even my dad was here right now, he would love that little golf buggy. But now we've come down to the pool, we've just chilled, had some dinner, and we're the only ones here. So beautiful. It's really hot as well. It's like 30 odd degrees. UV's been at 10 as well this afternoon. So I'm hoping that I've got a little tan. I'm really squinting because the sun is there. Um, but the sun should be setting in the next hour or so, so the sunset is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Careful because it's shallow. <laughs> Marie, if you're looking, look away. I am not letting your son get in any type of danger. <laughs> Whoosh! actually on the sunset part of the island which is so cute but look it's obviously going to set behind these mountains Give in quick outfit of the night we're heading out for tea we're going to an italian place called romano's i think it is just reminds me of um savio and chintzy if you know that you know then i've got this like little play suit thing on from plt got a little gooch belt my necklace is from let me zoom in 
um, Unforgotten, it's just my name, super cute, just in case I forget it. Bags from Ego, they got my little Gucci sandals on again. Our first kangaroo in the wild. Go and get him, Steve. Jump on his back. I'm joking, don't really, we don't, we do not agree to animal cruelty. Oh, there's a buggy, these look deadly, these are, honestly. It's gone by so Steve. quick. Steve, Steve, don't ruin it yet. Steve. Lived here for 17 years, so he's at one for the kangaroos. He looks like a tiny one though, to be fair. A tiny baby. I reckon his name's Joey, what do you think? Smashing a bit of salad. Maybe he's vegan. Hi. Wait for a little meal, he's doing a tiny bit of steak long. What you got, Rose? Awesome. Seafood Steve's got steak as well. And she's got the. What you got, Anne? I've got swordfish, swordfish, and mash. Swordfish. Oh, every other day, I've got this bikini from Sheen. These trousers are also from Sheen. And my bag is from Primark. Good morning. It's day two in Hamilton Island. Today, we're going on like a boat cruise to Whitehaven Beach. And it's, we've got, there's a couple of other things on there as well that you do, but it's half a day tour, so from 8.30 to 12.30, so we're going to go down there now. Obviously, I'll vlog it. If you've never seen Whitehaven Beach, it's absolutely gorgeous. If you just search on TikTok, I've never seen anything like it in my life, but obviously, if you keep watching the vlog, I'll show you anyway. So, it is a little bit cloudy, but the clouds are starting to separate and stuff here, so I'm just hoping that it's nice blue skies when we go there, because obviously, if it's a bit cloudy and whatever, it might not look as beautiful, but we'll see. Doing a voiceover because you couldn't hear me with the wind, but it was a really nice morning out. It was a little bit cloudy, like you could see, um, but we just chilled there. They just served drinks. There was like little games and stuff you could play. So we just had a nice relaxing morning out on the beach. <laughs> Do you want it? So it's a nice little scenic montage. <laughs> we just touch on it. <laughs> Gorgeous. Back on the boat, and look how nice the sky is finally cleared. The water is so beautiful. We're on the back of the buggy these days now. I've been Hello. demoted. I'm gonna drop me drink. Oh, me drink! Guys, look at my poor bottle's little battle wounds from falling off the back of the golf buggy. It's like my $33 cup. <laughs> So we've come to another one of the hotels on the island because obviously there's lots of different like, resorts and stuff but because you're saying you can come to each one. This one's got a swim up bar. There's Reese. Daydreaming and then here's our little bar. So we're just getting ready for the night. Look, hey some but I It's actually a bit of a joke to be honest. I feel like we've not really got burnt this whole holiday. Like sometimes we've had like slightly red shoulders or whatever. So this is the first time I've got proper burnt and I think it's from when we went to Whitehaven Beach because like you all saw it was kind of cloudy and that and you know like the sun would still come out but it didn't feel very hot you know with the breeze and everything so we put Factor 30 on before we went out this morning and then we put some on like after we got back but I think we burnt in the meantime so I'm giving bright red, Reese's back is bright red as well but we're just getting ready, I'm actually ready first. I did start getting ready a lot earlier than everyone else. That's not really an achievement. Um, but we're going to go out for Thai food. So I'll keep you updated what we get. So I've dragged Reese out to um, give us a little rundown of today. How do you think food was yesterday, though? That steak place and the pasta that you had. Yeah, yeah, nice stuff. It was, right. it was really nice. seafood pasta, it? Yeah, it was very nice. And then what about the trip that we did today? Did you enjoy it? It was good, man. You it got, was good. You got, you got to see, but like, once you're there, like, how much of you there? But yeah, good. you're only actually out at the beach for two hours, and lottery, so there's not like a fat lot to do. It's um, hot, man. But yeah, it Look was hot, though. Look at your sunburn. You can literally. <laughs> so you can so see so where I've only put sun cream on your shoulders because the last couple of days, stiff, yeah. I've only done it on your shoulders because I thought, well, you never burns the bottom of his back. And then today, turn around again, one last time. Ooh. Red Marie, if you're watching, I am sorry, but you also I did put any sun cream on my back, so my back's bright red as well. But yeah. Bye. 
Might as well do a quick outfit of the day while we're here. Sorry to keep you for about five years. I've got this little dress from Sheen on. My sandals also from Sheen. Little bags from PLT. If anyone's interested in any of that Insta girlies, um, I've been using this camera while we've been on holiday and it is really good. I really like it. Like I posted a couple of pictures on Instagram from when we was in Sydney and it gives like retro vibes. Didn't even put a filter on it. Literally just turned the saturation up a little bit to make me look a little bit tanned. Um, but I did not put a filter on it. And it looked like a proper like retro film. And then it also takes like really clear pictures as well i think it just depends on the lighting it's the panasonic what can i say it panasonic lumix and i don't know what it's called um it's like a dm x or z t80 something like that but i've found it on ebay um people just do it on auction to prefer see that's the best bet to get it it's a good quality camera if anyone's interested this is a morning hamilton island where the cockatoos are trying to get in the windows cheeky boy Say good morning. My new pet cockatoo. There's about 500 on the island, honestly. Right, so we're just getting ready for the helicopter tour. Reese's music is in the background. It's gonna get me copywritten. Um, but we're going for the helicopter tour over the Great Barrier Reef, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. Like, I'm so excited for this. And then we're going to Reef World where you do the snorkeling over the Great Barrier Reef. So I'll see I'll vlog as much as I can. Hope you enjoy the vlog. Morning! I've already told them what we're doing, but how excited slash scared are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nah, no, it'll be alright, won't it? Yeah, we're not like scared, but we're just That's a little nervous. That's the worst that can happen. Die. And then you'll never get to watch this video anyway, so... Mm. Let's to teach Laura where to edit, just in case. She does pass over now. See what happens. Oh yeah, so yeah, I'll keep you updated. So you do also get chicken curries and it's like a little buffet. So we've got like the chicken curries and meatballs. We just put a bit of like beef on there. Why not? We just got the same. And then we get the prawns as well. So we're at Reef World now. See? This is a It's gonna feel Reese's nightmares. Oh my god, see if you come back. Sea snake. I think I'm dying for a sea snake. Oh my god. All right. All right. Guys, this is giving an ocean gate. It's tiny. Yeah. All the fish already. Try and breathe through the mer tube type of gal. Yeah, but in the Maldives, I was trying to do that, but every time I lifted my head up to like look outside of the water, my tube kept going in the water and I kept drinking the water. So, yeah, I've got a little tour drive back to the pool. That's the yacht club as well. So, can you hear that man in the background more than me? But look at all those other parts. Our last morning with this absolutely beautiful view. It's only like half past eight in the morning. That's why it's not like mega sunny, but it's still so beautiful here. I've had like the nicest little break. So we're checking out and these are uh, all things we've got to eat at 9 o'clock before we throw them away. Healthy breakfast. I'm actually going to cry. 
I know I've already showed you this view, but it's just so beautiful. There's one person sitting in the pool. <laughs> just getting collected from our apartment. One last little tour. Right, we've just left like some water in here, and I sent it to a wife, but then we just put it up. Bye, beautiful apartment. I think you actually see where the sun sets. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's not actually many places where you can actually see it. But. Just doing a little buggy tour before we do. Someone's getting married. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, yeah, dear. Oh, you don't think it's there? Uh, just married. That's so cute. There's a little baby with sunglasses on. How cute is that? But I feel like me and Marisa actually need to come and get married here. Apparently, there's a church as well, which we're going to go to in a minute. Um, oh, Kelly and Brett, congratulations. There you've got like a little viewpoint mounted so that people come up here and watch the sunset. Not exactly like this spot, but I think it's over there. And um, we've like put like little kind of, like um, picnic blankets and stuff out so you can watch the sunset. They play music. Honestly, I think this is our favourite place we've been to. We'll do a little rundown before we leave. Um, but look, oh yeah, please advise that this location has been reserved for a wedding today. How beautiful would that be? Oh, look, like resort. That's a little beach. What's that called? Cat's Eye Beach. Look at me, I'm a local already. Apparently, he's scared of heights. Which maybe, standing on the rock in front of all this. Other <laughs> oh, celebrities stay here. George Clooney. Oh, yeah, they filmed that film, yeah. didn't they? You can't get through the big main doors. We thought it was going to be clever and then sneak down here, but you have to use your fob, I'm guessing. Fuming. Houses for sale. By the way, every house for sale is literally like two million up to like six million. From what Milk was looking at on the website yesterday, it's crazy. We're at the church. There's a little preschool there. Probably about two kids in each class. How pretty is that? I wonder if we can go inside. Do you reckon? True. Maybe the weddings. It's very small. You would have to film inside a church, it feels illegal. Aww. There's a little yeah, driving range, he's not closed. Yeah, just into the water. There's definitely some crocs in that water. Well, <laughs> it's that warm here that I have a field day. With all the little island chickens that are roaming about as well. <laughs> yeah, that was our helicopter over there. Oh, we can't see. Yeah, no, yeah, it's bigger uh, than them ones. This is like the, I don't know what you call it, airfield maybe? This is where we came yesterday to the helicopter tour. And um, we just got picked up from the marina. Oh, the little silver one. The one that flew in the other day, got seven summits on it. And now we're at the airport. You just drive your little golf buggy and park it on. We're so sad. I look like I've been electrocuted. But that's the end of our Hamilton Island vlog. Do you want to say, Therese, what's your favourite thing that you did there? I'm going to chop a ride in it. I was going to say, I can guess it's going to be the helicopter ride. Yeah, the that was so good. Great ride, yeah, it was good. I just Googled it as well. Um, I think my auntie and my uncle told me like a website for years, but we booked it with Hamilton Island Air and it was really so good. I think good. it was. I think we paid like £300 each, didn't we? About £350 each, you reckon? Yeah, three, three, six, Might as well not look any better like this, is it? But yeah, it was really good. And we went, so we did the picked up from the port thing to the shop arrived for about 45 minutes then go to reef world for about three hours weren't it and then you get dropped back mm -hmm. off in a little boat so it's a good little day out you went swimming in the great barrier reef but i didn't i don't think you've told them about the story you know uh -huh. i don't think you've told them the story yeah. about the siren the story is a mad one still so we got there when they said uh, i'll come in for like an health and safety thing so yeah we went in and there's like, oh, at any point, if you hear the air on, make sure you look up and know what, what instructions you're being given. Like, it's like an around. emergency, yeah. basically, if the pipe is so air like, on. Okay. I've gone for dinner now, yeah, I'm chilling. Done the little submarine thing as well. I said, so oh, I'm going to go jump in there. Ben, I've been scared of the sea the whole time. Yeah, Ben, no, I ain't scared of sea one bit normally, but with all the sharks, I'm thinking, wow. Oh. And then... Bear in mind, we've been there now nearly two hours. I ain't heard this air on once all day. Everything's calm, the sea's looking nice. I hop in my little scuba Steve outfit. Look very nice. I've swam out now, I'm far. There's only two other people out in front of me, like, and we're far out. Next minute, I know I hear. The fucking air on's going off, yeah. I'm thinking, no. You look no. shit, his pants. I've lifted my head up, yeah, and all I hear is, get back, get back. I'm thinking, no. 
No. Anyway, my little fucking blue flippers through the sea. Straight through. I've looked at Charlie. I said, Charlie, what's happening? She said, oh, the two geese in front of you. You stand on the coral. Standing on the so reef. But see, I wasn't panicking because I heard him say, like, get off the reef. But Reese obviously didn't know that. Oh, I've heard he's come he kept, back, come he back. He just kept repeating, get back, get back. And then, like, yeah, the emergency, man. like, health but and listen, safety. My belt. little legs now, yeah. They're going 10 to the dozen in this water, yeah. I ain't even catch their breath. You just come whizzing yeah, over. Come back, oh, bang. I know. I thought, Yo, I all I could hear is do 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 See, myself. I didn't even panic, but I saw you was very scared. I was standing on the boat, by the way, because I didn't really fancy going snorkeling. Like, I didn't want to get my hair wet, so I ducked my head down and, like, I stuck my face under the water. But I didn't fancy, like, swimming about, so I just had my little life jacket on and I was just bobbing around. But at least we can say we've been swimming in the Great Barrier Reef and snorkeling and on a helicopter ride, yeah, man, which was I, fun. I've done it all. And the, the locks. Li- yeah. Swam the Great Barrier Reef. Done You've done chopper. loads. Yeah, we have done a lot of like really nice stuff this trip. But that's the end of our Hamilton Island vlog. We've got one more vlog after oh, this. Listen, though, you know the balcony here at Hamilton Island. Oh, no. The view. The view. Morning, I feel like that's all I've said in the video. Oh, we're going to miss the view. We're going to miss the view. But it was just so beautiful. Job. We'd love to come back as well. Yeah. But obviously, it's like 24 hours away from England. So you can't really just come here for like a week holiday. It's so maybe in like years to come I'm an island with serious yeah we might you, maybe come back if you come back. Australia yeah, you don't go there for a little get away yeah days. even it's if you sleeping. did like because obviously we did an apartment with like it was like three bedrooms beautiful apartment it's kind of expensive to be fair you could get cheaper accommodation obviously so even if you just do something like that say in a hotel maybe whatever but like the views are obviously just beautiful no matter where you stay so definitely lucky, recommend though, we got it the, we got the buggies in it yeah you can get the golf buggies in the hundred pound a day, yeah hundred dollars apartment. apartment look at us finishing each other's sentences mm, <laughs> that's right for you to say so yeah that's the end of our hamilton island vlog one more vlog after this hope you're enjoying stay tuned make sure to subscribe up the blues bye